The UTA Mavericks have been on the bottom of the heap for a long time. In fact, it's been nine years since they had a winning season. In 1974, Bud Elliott was hired to turn things around. While his brief record, five wins, 17 losses, has yet to reflect it, the Mav coach seems to be making progress. Well, we feel good about our offensive backs. I don't believe there's too many backfields in the state of Texas that are much deeper or much better than we are, frankly. Our offensive line depth isn't as good as we'd like to have, but our defensive depth is better than it's ever been, and that's probably going to uh, help us a great deal. You've had a chance now to establish the program. What about developing the winning attitude here? Well, I think the winning attitude's here. You know, our football team right now has great character, and I really feel like that as far as our football players, they believe they can get the job done. Now it's just a question of going out there and doing it. Some of those backs who will try to make UTA a contending team in the Southland Conference are speedsters Jimmy Bailey, Elmo Simmons, and Ricky Kelly. 225-pound fullback Derek Jensen is a solid performer, and Doug Dobbins is a first-rate wishbone quarterback. When Elliott took over this program three years ago, UTA was in dire straits. There was even talk of doing away with football. But now things seem to be on the upswing. The players have improved, there is a better attitude, and better support from the community. If football does survive here at UTA, then Coach Bud Elliott share of the credit. This is Ray Gaskin, Channel 8 Sports at UTA. Okay.